Have you ever wondered what all recipes were added with Shipwrecked? Ever wondered what benefits they all have? Well, so do I, since I'm so used to my vanilla and ROG recipes. Time to get cooking. One of the few recipes I know all too well are the banana pops. This recipe is amazing for health and sanity. The most efficient recipe for banana pops is one banana, one ice, and two twigs. This will net you 20 health, 12.5 hunger, and 33 sanity when consumed. Not to mention, it cools you down. Ceviche is a dish that will require two units of fish and ice to be made. You can use two fish, one ice, and a twig, or even just two fish, two ice, to create the recipe. This isn't a very strong recipe for bonuses, but you will receive 20 health, 25 hunger, and 5 sanity upon eating it. This will also lower your temperature. Bisque, on the other hand, is an awesome dish. This is easily one of the best items for healing. Have a surplus of limpets? Throw three limpets and a piece of ice into a crock pot, and you're going to get a whopping 60 health, 18.75 hunger, and 5 sanity. This recipe is super easy to remember. California rolls are pretty darn tasty. Now you can treat your favorite character to some delicious sushi. This recipe will always need two seaweed and one fish value. Using two limpets and two seaweed, or one jellyfish, two seaweed, and a twig, will provide you with 20 health, 37.5 hunger, and 10 sanity. Mmm sushi. Jellio pops don't exactly sound tasty to me, but apparently they are in shipwreck. A fairly simple recipe to make, use one jellyfish, one ice, and two twigs, or even one jellyfish, two ice, and a twig, and you'll get yourself one. When consumed, you'll get 20 health, 12.5 hunger, but no sanity. This is also another recipe that'll lower your temperature when consumed. Enjoy yourself some lobster? Who doesn't? Lobster bisque is another amazing healing recipe. Using one lobster and three ice, you can net yourself 60 health, 25 hunger, and 10 sanity. You can also use one lobster, one ice, and two twigs to create the recipe. Twigs are super tasty, apparently. Living in the lap of luxury? Happen to have a lobster in the almighty butter? An exceptionally good dish is the lobster dinner. Using one lobster, one butter, and two twigs, or even one lobster, one butter, and two berries, you'll get yourself a lobster dinner. This will yield you a ridiculous 60 health, 37.5 hunger, and 50 sanity. I'm uh, starting to get hungry now. A naughty dish to be sure, but a useful one indeed. Shark fin soup can be made using one shark fin and three twigs, or even one shark fin and three ice. This recipe offers 40 health, 12.5 hunger, but costs 10 sanity. On the positive side, it'll increase your naughtiness by 10. Pretty useful if you like the spawn Krampus. Seafood gumbo is delicious. I swear making this video is making me hungry. Anyway, this recipe will require 2.5 units of fish to be made, and you cannot use ice this time. I'd like to use one fish and three limpets, or even one jellyfish and three limpets to make my seafood gumbo. This recipe will provide you with a nice 40 health, 37.5 hunger, and 20 sanity. A very good all-around dish. Surf and Turf is one of my favorite recipes, even after it was nerfed a bit. Because Surf and Turf takes priority over monster lasagna, I like to use two monster meat, one fish, and a limpet. You could also use one monster meat and three fish as well. Surf and Turf has an awesome benefits. You'll get 60 health, 37.5 hunger, and 33 sanity. A very solid recipe. Last but not least, before we bring up Warley's specific recipes, is coffee. What shipwreck playthrough would be complete without it? Coffee will require you to cook the beans beforehand. Using four beans, or three beans with one honey, will net you one of the most useful items in the game. Coffee may only give you three health, 9.375 hunger, and cost you five sanity, but it'll increase your movement speed by about 83%. You're one with the movement speed. These last few recipes can only be made by Wardley in his crock pot, so remember that next time you're cooking up your grub. Fresh fruit crepes not only are delicious, but are incredibly strong. Using one butter, one honey, a banana, and a berry, or even two coconut halves, a butter, and a honey, will complete the recipe. When consumed, you'll get yourself a crazy 60 health, 150 hunger, and 15 sanity. Sweet potato souffle can be made using two sweet potatoes and two eggs, or two sweet potatoes, a tall bird egg, and a twig. This recipe isn't particularly strong, but when consumed, you'll get yourself 20 health, 37.5 hunger, and 15 sanity. Next up, we have ourselves the Mussel Bouillabaisse. This recipe will always require two mussels and two veggies. Using two mussels and two carrots will get you a total of 20 health, 37.5 hunger, and 15 sanity. 
Not bad considering how easily obtained mussels are. Last but not least, we have ourselves the Monster Tartar. While not a great recipe, it's a pretty cool concept. Throw two monster meat, one red cap, and an egg into the crock pot, and voila. You could also use two jellyfish, one egg, and one red cap. There are certainly better uses for the ingredients in this recipe, but when consumed, you'll get 3 health, 37.5 hunger, and 10 sanity. That should do it for the newly added shipwreck recipes. I've always wanted to do the video and have had frequent requests, but I didn't want to release the video while the game was still in early access. Recipes have changed, and so have their values. So, there you have it folks, get out there and make some delicious foods! If you have any suggestions on other tutorials, be sure to leave a comment so I can keep these coming. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time!